What you doing, Ken? I'm getting the still out. Uh-oh, we're going to purify some water? This is your still. Are you serious? You can put salt water in it. You can put any dirty water in it and distill it. Just That's awesome, just Ken. Just top like this and clean water comes out the bottom. Before I get started, I'd like to give John the MI Woodsman a shout out. He's having his 1,000 plus subscriber giveaway. He's got a lot of fun things, and one of the items I wouldn't mind having, John, are the glow sticks. Yeah, so go by and check out his channel, and he recently did a solo overnight, and that was really fun to watch too. Okay, as you guys know, me, Ken, and Billy Joe had a little meetup. And Ken of Cram graciously gave me a water distiller. Something I've been working on, but I was having a real hard time finding stainless steel bottles. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test this out and do my own test and see how it works. So for instructions on how this is made and much, pretty much how it works, make sure you stop by Kenneth's channel and he'll show you. But we'll give you the basics real quick. So we got the main container and this is three quarters of the way full of water. Okay, this is a stainless steel vodka bottle, and they're very hard to find where I live. We got the top section right here, this is the top chamber, and this helps to keep from the uh, poison and the uh, toxins coming down the tube. They just kind of boil up, because if these overboil, that kind of tends to happen on you. And it simply just screws on here, and the nice thing is he built all this for me. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. And it simply just screws on there. Okay, so we got our main container right here, and right now this is just regular tap water. And the purpose of a water distiller is one, to distill salt out of there, toxins, and some heavy metals. But I don't know about uh, man-made chemicals. That's uh, that's pretty questionable. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove its lid, and we'll be using our GSI cup today to uh, catch the clean water, hopefully. So in order to do this test, I just went and picked up some uh, ordinary table salt. Now, I do not know the consistency of sea salt, so I'm just winging it. I'm going to dump this whole thing in there, and we're going to see what happens. Is it going to work? It tastes pretty darn nasty. So, in goes the salt. Oh, yeah. We're going to give that a good mix. Course, a really big bird over there. Anyway, of course, you gotta taste it to make sure it's salty. Oh, Jesus. That is very freaking salty. Alright. Ah, God, that is terrible. I don't recommend ever doing that. God, I hope I didn't get none of my cup. All right, so what we're going to do is the top, put this top section on here. Then we're simply going to come over and place it over on the fire here. Because I built a nice little fire pit for all this activity. And we're going to bring this up to a boil. Okay, we got her set up. Let me uh, kind of explain this to you real quick. We got the main chamber which holds the water. It's three quarters of the way full over the fire. The second chamber is where the steam builds up and this is the modification Ken made. So go by his channel once again and check that out and why that's done. And the steam goes to the cooling tubes, goes around, cools off and turns back into the liquid. So all we do now is sit back and watch or basically wait for water to boil.
Okay, we're actually starting to get some water to come out of the cooling tube. Uh, what Ken did is he put a washcloth on his or a bandana and I put water on it to cool it down a lot faster. Since I don't have that option, what I'm doing is I'm putting some bark here to block the heat from the cooling tube because I think that was uh, one of my problems. But the water's coming out quite nicely now, so I'm going to let the first couple ounces drip out because that is actually a uh, poison. So we're going to let the uh, drip out about an ounce or two, then we're going to start catching it with my GSI cup. All right, we've had more than a couple ounces uh, bubble through here. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the GSI cup in there, and we're going to see how long it's going to take us to get a uh, full cup of water here. Put the little guy on there. Let's put the lid over here. Try to keep some lamp. Let's do this, yeah. Put the lid on top of it. I've actually been using some of the sand to uh, cool the coil down, so that's kind of working out for me in uh, this situation. And I think my potato stew is about done, so it's going to be lunchtime here in a minute. Hot. Mm. Freaking hot. Oh, it's good though. Looks like we've almost got a full cup of water, and this took about four hours, and I know why, and I'll show you here in a minute. So we're going to pull this off and try not to get too much sand in it, because there is quite a bit of sediment in that water. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, cup here I made my stew in, and I cleaned it out. A uh, little heads up, if you're going to make potato stew, save a little salt for the stew. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we got our empty cup, and I want to filter the sediment out here. I mean, there is just quite a bit of sediment in there, a lot more than I really would care to drink. It smells okay. So, got one of my good old coffee filters here I use for filtering water. We're going to put it inside this. And slowly pour it in. That is a lot of sand. I think that's uh, my fault. Okay. I got most of it out. It's a little warm. Uh, Alright. But here we go. Really warm. Real, real warm, and uh, the side of the rim kind of tastes crappy. Let's find out if it worked, though. I still get a little, little hint of the salt. Not very much, though. <laughs> little taste but it is drinkable and once again I don't know the consistency of salt water uh, but all in all as long as it's boiled I guarantee all the bacteria and viruses are gone <laughs> it's very drinkable The other thing I'm noticing, the water tastes kind of flat. So I think if you bubbled it up a little bit, it would be a lot better. Still a little warm though. 
Uh, uh, anyway, okay. Let's recap, uh, recap the project real quick. Uh, basically, what I did is I got a gift from Kenneth Cram. He gave me his water distiller, so we can distill water. Basically, you get the salt out of it, the impurities and chemicals like that. And honestly, it worked great. I found a couple things that probably would need to be fixed. One is, and this is nobody's fault, uh, just kind of something you kind of discover when you do stuff, is this needs Teflon tape here and here because it was leaking. And I need a way to clamp this second chamber up in order to keep the steam in there. And I think if we put a radiator clamp around there, that would work great. And another thing that was really important, if we look on this side, is to keep the tube separated from the fire. And this little firewall I built, or a heat wall worked out really great until it of course started burning through on me but once I put that sand on there and to cool this tube down it worked a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah I did have to pile the wood on there to keep pressure on the top chamber to uh, keep the seal there but I'm gonna be brutally honest now uh, with the modifications maybe a radiator clamp, Teflon tape and keeping the uh, coil cooling coil separated from the heat, I think it's going to be a perfect unit. Honestly, I'm really happy with it. I foresee a uh, second outing with it with the modifications. So uh, make sure you go by Ken's channel. He's got more in depth and detail about the water distillation system, or distillers. Uh, he does some actual testing that I think is really good, and he puts more scientific facts to it. I basically took the gift he gave me and took it out and test drove it, and I was very happy with the drive. Well, I'm going to wrap this video up. I think I got two hours of sunlight left and a nice little four mile hike back to the trailhead. Yeah, wasn't planning on spending the night, although this would be a great location. So, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'd like to hear them. Comments are more than welcome, and like always, friends, thanks for watching.